Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Virginia. I could hardly wait to film today's video. I'm doing my first giveaway and I know I don't have that many subscribers. I've only got about 650 subscribers as of today, but I just wanted to give you guys something that you can enjoy with your family as a thank you for your support. So I will talk more about the giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a head start with your plants. As I'm filming this video, it's the beginning of March, so there's still dangers of frost. So it is much too early to plant most vegetables outdoors. So there are a few vegetables that you can start outdoors right now. Some of them are gonna be kale, spinach, lettuce, carrots, and certain peas. So what I use to start my plants indoors is a hydroponic garden, AKA the Aero Garden. It is absolutely so simple. It's, it's literally plug, you plug it into an outlet, you fill it with water, pick your seeds, plant them in little plugs, and watch them grow. I mean, it's that easy. It's way easier than planting outdoors. You don't need a green thumb to do this, you guys. Um, just keep in mind though that if you do plant vegetables in your air garden, eventually you do have to transplant them outside unless it's a small vegetable such as little miniature tomatoes or lettuce or just shorter crops. But anything tall, you definitely want to transplant them outside. And it usually only takes about one week or less to, to get them to germinate. I've got some lettuce growing right now and it only took about three to four days before it germinated. It's so fast. You can practically grow any seed, flowers, vegetables, plants, you name it in your air garden. The only one I haven't had success with is spinach. I don't know why I've tried different varieties, but I've never had success. But I do have a success planting them outside. Just keep that in mind, spinach never grew for me. You can try it or skip it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my seeds. I've got quite a collection so far. I placed my order through a catalog this year and I still have some of last year's seeds as well. And they do tend to last a few years. You'll notice though that the germination rate might be a little bit less if they're older seeds. So you might wanna plant two versus one seed per hole just in case they don't make it. So you'll notice that some of my packets that I show you are a little bit older and some of them are, are fresh, uh, ready to plant for this year. And then secondly, I'm gonna open my brand new Aero Garden that I just got in the mail yesterday. I purchased mine through Amazon. It was about the same price and it came actually a lot quicker than ordering through their website anyway. So I'm really happy with it. Then next, I'll show you how to set it up real fast. You'll see how easy it is and I'll show you how to put the seeds in the pods and then label them. So you're gonna need a few things for today's video. You're gonna need a Bounty or a Bounty Elite garden. They have several models, but mine are the more on the basic side of what they offer. They're getting really fancy models out there. You'll also need a seed starting system. So when you purchase your Bounty model or whichever model you decide to go with, you have to buy this separate. This does not come with your purchase. It comes with the basic pods. But for seed starting, you wanna get as many seeds going for your garden outdoors. Now, if you just wanna do an indoor garden, just stick with what they give you. But if you wanna plant what I'm doing, planting a bunch of seeds for transplanting outdoors, you wanna get the, it's called the seed starting system. It has about 50 pods, so 50 plants. It also came with uh, sponges. So these are the grow sponges and they have a little hole in the middle of it and that's where you put your seed. So it comes with 50 and then sometimes it'll come with 50 of these. You can put the sponge inside the plastic and insert it in the seed starting system. But here's the big but. Um, if you're doing the seed the 50 seed starting system that I'm doing, these will not fit in the hole. These are just for bigger model, the one that actually comes with your bounty. So 
I'm not gonna be using these today because again, they're too big. And sometimes they'll also come with these little uh, grow, grow caps. I'm not really sure what they're called, but they're like a little dome that you put over the seed and it just helps keep the seed a little bit warmer. These are also gonna be too big for what we're doing today. It also comes with liquid plant food. It's just a little bottle. It's pretty much a, a small bottle of fertilizer. You'll also need whichever seeds that you plan on using. I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm going to use today. And then obviously you'll need water to get your garden started. You'll need a method to label your plants. You can use the labels that Aero Garden gives you. They're round little oval labels. I'll show you how to use those, but I'll also show you a different method if your kit didn't come with it of a different way you can label your plants. All right guys, well with all that being said, lots of information, let's get started. I'm just dying to open my box. I wanted to wait to film it. So let's open the box together and hopefully it came in one solid piece. Looks like it got a little bit uh, dented in the process of getting here, but let's open it together and let's get started. So this insert is removable and you're gonna want to remove this and swap it out with the 50, um, it's called the 50 seed starting system. But this is the one that it comes with and the little grow baskets and sponges fit perfectly in here with the domes to put on top. And this is perfect if you just wanna grow this many plants, which is quite a bit. But if you have a, an outdoor garden like I do, you wanna get much more than just a few going. So this is the kit that it comes with, very nice and convenient, but if you wanna do the 50 um, seed starting system, you'll wanna buy that separate. These, you can see I order from Johnny's, Burpee, Seeds. Um, those are my main two. So because I live in the Pacific Northwest, we have shorter summers. So something that I look for when I buy seeds is how many days does it take Till harvest so this one's 65 days which believe it or not is very it's a very short season for tomatoes so these are really good to have here in Washington State I'll show you a different example so this one's gonna take about 76 days before harvest so this one takes a lot longer so you need a longer growing season for them so I got a variety called greenhouse tomatoes and these actually did very good in my greenhouse but they also did very good outside as well um, 77 days so it's a little bit longer yellow pear roma tomatoes early girl hybrid determinate tomatoes greenhouse tomatoes sweetie but they're cherry tomatoes delicious super steak and beef steak tomatoes Pumpkins do really good around here, but they do take 120 days to harvest, which is incredible. That is a very long growing season. It looks like here, I live in the western side of Washington, so we are right on point planting them in March. And then I'll, I'll plant some of these pumpkin early sweet sugar uh, pie. So I'm going to try summer squash, 50 days to harvest, so it's very short and perfect for my area. And of course a zucchini, this one. I grew this zucchini last year, you guys, and this was absolutely the best, sweetest zucchini I've ever had. 
I just, I put it in like spaghetti, but in sauces, but just cooking this in olive oil with a little bit of Parmesan was so tasty. I pretty much had one a day for several weeks straight. My skin started turning green. That's the only downside. I'm just kidding. I only start a few seeds. They, they make it every time. So if you plant two, expect two plants. Um, so I'm only gonna plant one of each. So the next step is going to be to connect your air garden to a power source. I'm going to do the seed starter. So this is just random seeds. It says the Aero Garden is perfect for starting seeds indoors and then transplanting them to an outdoor garden or container. So next I'm going to put in these sponge, uh, growing sponges. So now I will bring out my seeds and I'll get planting. I brought my labels because as I put the seeds in, I'm going to label them at the same time so I don't get confused. So Aero Garden gives you their own labels and as you can see, it can work. You can make it work. They're a little bit big, um, but if you do like this whole row, you can label it corn. The next row, you can label it peppers. If you want to be a little bit more precise or if it didn't come with Aero Garden labels, uh, these sticky notes are really good too. And this is what I've used in the past. And so I'll just tape it right here. And then I'll put the name tomato or corn. And then I like to reinforce it with tape just because um, you see that water gets on top. There's... Every now and then you get a little bit of water um, when you refill it and it does start getting a little bit wet. So I do like to tape this part just to reinforce it to make sure that it sticks. So there are several ways you can label your, your seeds. I'm going to use this method just because um, it, it worked well for me last year. I'm going to start off with my sweet corn and I'm going to plant four Mm, let's do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do nine. And that's going to take up two rows. If you don't already know this, uh, the pointy side goes up and the fatter side faces down. These sponges are like older sponges. They're from last year. And these sponges I just ordered this year and it looks like they're finally starting to make the hole a little bit wider. So I think enough clients have complained and let them know that small holes are hard to plant. You just can't do it with big seeds. This one can't do it. So I'll swap it out. I'll probably use pepper seeds in the smaller holes.
house spongers right here. This is where I'm going to plant my pumpkins because I only want three plants. So I have my first garden all set up. Now I'm gonna set up my second garden. I'm just gonna fast forward it so you don't have to see the whole process again now that you know how it works. Now I'm jumping into the next segment of my video, the giveaway. So for the giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away this short story hydroponic garden. It's a, it's very small, it's a miniature. It's worth about $60 online if you go to their website. And then I'll also be giving you some seeds. So the sweet basil, which is one of my favorites, and then just a mixture of other seeds. We got carrots, dill, squash, bush bean, cucumber, radishes, collards, collards, and turnips. Just a few mixture of some vegetables I hope that you'll enjoy. And if not, if you're not a gardener, it always makes a wonderful gift. So here are the rules to enter. You must be a subscriber to my channel. So if you do win, I'm gonna to have to verify that you're subscribed to my channel. So make sure your settings are not set to private. Make sure that your subscriptions are set to public, at least for this giveaway. The second rule is comment below, but you have to include your favorite plant in your comment so that I know that you're entering for the contest. And it can be any plant, from flowers to vegetables, any plant, tree, you name it. Just let me know what your favorite one is and you can only enter one time, and then the contest is going to close next Saturday the 13th, and I will post it in this video. I will make a post below. All right guys, so that sums up my video. I hope I gave you some tips and tricks so that you can have a successful garden as well. These indoor gardens are amazing. They really have changed my life, my way of gardening. I will not go back. Even though I have an outdoor greenhouse, I still do the indoor gardening. It's amazing. So thank you for watching. And if you are left with any questions after watching this video, just let me know below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you, okay, I already screwed up. <laughs> Did I say it's March? Someone just flushed the toilet.